next on PIJN News. Dr. Chaps reports on these important issues. President Trump makes an important policy speech about what his campaign will do if he is reelected president includes protecting parents of transgender children from losing their kids. Dr. Anthony Harper from the Museum of the Bible will explain. Former Navy Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt took a stand to defend religious freedom by daring to pray publicly in Jesus' name. Now he helps you by reporting the news, discerning the spirits, and praying the scriptures. Would you pray with us? Here's Dr. Chaps. God bless you in Jesus' name. My name is Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt, Dr. Chaps, and you're watching PIJN News. On this show, we like to do three things. We report the news, we discern the spirits, and we pray the scriptures in Jesus' name. On today's show, we have Dr. Anthony Harper, who was there live in person, listening to the speech by President Donald Trump running for re-election when President Trump took the podium at the Pray, Vote, Stand conference right there in Washington. Let's have Dr. Anthony Harper by Skype from the Museum of the Bible. How are you today, Anthony? Oh, very thankful. It's great to join you here from the Museum of the Bible. Thank you. What is the Museum of the Bible? You're standing in front of some uh, Hebrew hieroglyphics, it looks like. Okay, it's my favorite place here in Washington, D.C. So a very beautiful place. Really highly recommend people to check that out uh, online, the Museum of the Bible. But there is a, an event here with Dr. Alveda King. And uh, so very special event about pro-life leaders meeting. And it's related to the She Leads America organization, the pro-life organization. A very special time here. Okay, well, earlier this week, you were at another place in D.C., the Pray, Vote, Stand conference. Did you hear the president, Donald Trump, speak? And uh, what, what did you notice about his policy promises? I did hear him speak at the Pray, Vote, Stand a summit. It was very impressive. He, he won the straw poll hands down against DeSantis and all the other Republican candidates. But, but his speech was in, in protecting parents' rights regarding the transgender issue and the reassignment surgery, making it very clear that he would, he, would, uh, he would stop that abuse and also stop what's happening at the border to protect our border and uh, so much more. He is the first president to appear at a March for Life event and he appeared with Dr. Alveda King. So he is the hand down uh, choice for a Republican candidate. Very important at this stage of the game. Uh, we, we have, and he made it very clear that we're in the most challenging time as ever in American history. And he also made several promises about continued support for Israel, including a one state solution, not dividing the land and a two state solution. And he, uh, you know, bragged about his accomplishments having moved the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem. Well, yes, you know, that, that is a big issue about the one state solution, Israel's right to all of their land. And uh, it is hoped by many evangelical Christians that, that he will continue that stance to oppose a Palestinian state to divide Israel. Now, this is a really important with, with regards to Prime Minister Netanyahu and his uh, in, uh, attempt to have a peace agreement with Saudi Arabia. And my hope is that, that he would not cave in on that issue, the Palestinian state. Saudi Arabia has made it very clear on several occasions that they, they want and they support a two-state solution to divide Israel. And this is in opposition to the Jewish scripture, the warning uh, in Joel 3.2 about dividing, his, uh, dividing Israel and God's anger about people that scatter his people and divide up his land. Okay, so let's go ahead and roll now some of the speech from the pray vote stand. Here is the 45th president. But we're going to take back our country. We're going to take back our culture and we're going to make America great again, greater than ever before. And I come here tonight bearing a very simple message 
No president has ever fought for Christians as hard as I have, and I will keep on fighting for Christians as hard as I can for four more years in the White House, and we will do things that nobody has ever been able to do. Just think of what we already achieved with the help of many of the great people in this room. I know so many of you. We did more to uphold religious liberty than any administration in history, according to everybody. I fearlessly protected the religious freedoms of doctors, nurses, teachers, and faith groups like the Little Sisters of the Poor. I blocked the IRS from using the Johnson Amendment to interfere with pastors' freedom of speech. Very important. Very important. I stopped Barack Hussein Obama's hateful and bigoted assault on faith-based adoption and foster care services, and I restored your right to help those beautiful children find a loving family. I took historic action to defend the religious liberty of students in public schools and on college campuses, so important. And I was the first president to convene a meeting at the United Nations to end religious persecution worldwide. We did that as president. Thank you very much. As president, I stood proudly with our friend and ally, the State of Israel. I kept my promise, recognized Israel's eternal capital, and opened the American Embassy in Jerusalem. And I got the embassy built. I got the embassy built. They were starting to raise funds and do the funding. And they said it was going to cost $2 billion. And I said, $2 billion? And I told my people, do you have a site? We are the United States, and we have sites all over the place. And real estate, because I see a couple of my great real estate friends right here. And I said, do you have a site that's a great site, much better than the one that they wanted to buy for a tremendous amount of money, way overpaying? That man, whoever owned that site, does not like me very much. He was going to make a fortune. <laughs> And they came back to me the following day and said, yes, sir, we do have a site. We have a great site. Is there a building on it? Yes, there is. It's abandoned, but it's a very strong building, structurally good. And I took that building, and I said, uh, we, I called off everything. I had my people go and check it. I said, how much would it cost to rebuild that building and make it the embassy? They said, about $400,000. That's slightly less than $2 billion, right? And it's the first time I've ever said this in business. I said, you know, that sounds too cheap. It's usually that's too expensive. I said, that sounds too cheap. That's too inexpensive. So let's make it a little bit more. Let's spend a little bit more. We'll make it 500000 And we got it built for 500000 And we used Jerusalem stone. Jerusalem stone is a very rare and beautiful stone. Unless you're in Jerusalem. And a friend of mine has... Uh, office space at a beautiful office building in New York. And he, every time I walk in, he tells me about, this is Jerusalem Stone. Look, the wall opposite the elevator. This is PIJN News, defending your religious freedom. Dr. Chaps will be right back. We're here in Israel, in literally the scene of all of the holy sites, like the Via Dolorosa, where Jesus carried his cross, the garden tomb where he was raised from the dead, the Sea of Galilee, where he taught the disciples. And I prayed, Lord, how can I bring this inspiring environment into your living room? And what we've produced is a four DVD disc set with the entire Gospel of Matthew. I teach every verse in all 28 chapters of Matthew in short 12 minute segments. So you can understand the exact words that Jesus taught from the exact location where Jesus lived. Pick up the phone right now and call us at 866-Obey-God. Again, that's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D for a suggested donation of just $50. We'll give you all four discs, the entire Gospel of Matthew, or you can write to us at the address on your screen or visit our website, PrayInJesusName.org. You're gonna love this Bible teaching. Pick up the phone and call us today. I'm Dr. Chaps. You know, Jesus taught the parable about sowing the seed, and you don't want it wasted. You want it to grow with 30, 60, 100 fold for the kingdom of Jesus Christ. I'll tell you three mission areas that we're doing here at Pray In Jesus Name. 
I think our charity does more with less than any other charity I know. We are fertile seed. For example, number one, we pray in millions of television homes every day or every weekend on eight networks. We have 2.5 billion home TV impressions every month. The second area, we feed orphans and children in some of the poorest slums overseas. We're building a new vocational school, we're digging wells, and we're serving the poor when you give to pray in Jesus' name. Number three, we defend religious freedom, especially for our troops and our chaplains. We've now helped send five million petitions to Congress. We've helped change bad laws or policies in 13 states and four times in federal law. You know my story as a former Navy chaplain, standing up for the right to pray in Jesus' name and defending religious freedom. Would you donate today? In fact, we want you to come up monthly pledge sponsor. When you visit PrayInJesusName.org, on the right side, click the monthly pledge sponsor button at PrayInJesusName.org. Your monthly gift will help change the world in Jesus' name. Defending your religious freedom, here is Dr. Chaps. He told me that, that every time I walk in, he tells me about Jerusalem. Stone. So what I did is I said, do you think we could do the whole building in Jerusalem stone? Absolutely. We have so much Jerusalem stone. In I said, is it expensive? They said, not at all. It's cheap as you can imagine. And we did it in Jerusalem stone, and it is a truly beautiful embassy, and there's no reason for them ever to do anything else because it's a beauty, and it's the best location there is. And Jerusalem, and it was a great honor. So we not only designated, we also got it built, and built many years ahead of schedule, so it was, uh, and we saved approximately $2 billion, so that was okay. For it. But I also recognized, they were working on this for 58 years, I recognized Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights, you know that, and took care of that, I was done. 52 years they worked on it. Planes would come in every season. Planes that have meetings that would last for two days, and then they'd leave. Nothing would happen. I got it done in about 12 minutes. And I withdrew the United States from the disastrous Iran nuclear deal. Disaster. And here at home, we totally transformed the federal judiciary appointing nearly 300 judges to interpret the law and the Constitution as written. Very big thing. Together, all of us, we withstood vicious attacks to confirm three great Supreme Court justices, Neil Gorsuch, Brett Kavanaugh, and Amy Coney Barrett. And I'm also very proud to be the most pro-life president in American history. Very proud. Of From my very first day in office, I took action to protect the unborn. I reinstated the Mexico City policy. You know what that is? Stopped taxpayer funding for the abortion industrial complex, which is what it's called. And I was the first sitting president to ever attend the March for Life rally right here in Washington, D.C. <laughs> They all said they're going, but they never got there. One year ago, in a victory that conservatives had been seeking for exactly 50 years, those Supreme Court justices, together with others on the court, ruled to end the moral and constitutional atrocity known as Roe v. Wade. Dr. Chaps, I want to introduce my friend, Mike Lindell, who wants to help support our ministry and the work of PIJN News. Uh, Mike, what do you think? Well, I think everybody out there, y'all need to get behind Pray in Jesus' Name's ministry. Dr. Chaps here, but this great ministry needs your support and you, can, you should donate to it. You can also use your promo code PRAYNEWS 
and anything you're getting from my pillow with big discounts a lot of those proceeds are coming right back i'm going to put them right back into this into your amazing charity and show my employees and i are excited to announce it's our 20th anniversary and to celebrate we're bringing you a limited edition my pillow the giza elegance my pillow is made with the most amazing cotton two inch pipe gusset comes in four custom loft levels and it's machine washable and dryable when i got my pillow i'm asleep almost immediately i stay asleep at night and i wake up more well rested in the morning my patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported in line that's why we've been around for 20 years because my pillow works go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen use your promo code to get your limited edition 20th anniversary my pillow queen size retails for 69.98 now only 19.98 that's right only 19.98 with my 60 day money back guarantee you have nothing to lose sleep well america over the last 20 years, with all your support, we've been able to not only launch the original My Pillow, but also the My Pillow mattress topper, Giza Dream bed sheets, My Slippers, and the My Pillow bath towels. But there's so much more. In fact, we have over 200 products, and I'm so confident that you'll love each and every one of them. That when you go to mypillow.com now, you'll immediately receive a free gift valued at $20 just for checking out the website. No purchase necessary. Get everything from my pillow blankets, sleepwear, kitchen towels, mattresses, duvets, pet beds, body pillows, comforters, couch pillows, bathrobes, and so much more. So go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get deep discounts on all my pillow products. And remember, just for checking out mypillow.com, you'll immediately receive a free gift valued at $20. No purchase necessary. This is a limited time promotion, so go to mypillow.com now. Stay tuned for the end of our show to learn how to partner with this ministry. Such a foolish thing. We are a nation that surrendered in Afghanistan, leaving behind dead soldiers, American citizens, and $85 billion worth of the finest military equipment in the world. And we are a nation that allowed Russia to devastate a country, Ukraine, killing hundreds of thousands of people, and it will only get worse. It would never have happened with me as your president. And for four straight years, it didn't happen. And China and Taiwan are next. We are a nation that has weaponized its law enforcement against opposing political parties like never before. There has never been anything like this. We've got a Federal Bureau of Investigation that won't allow bad election-changing facts to be presented to the public, and which offers $1 million to a writer of fiction about Donald Trump to lie and say it was fact, where Hunter Biden's laptop from hell was Russian disinformation, and the FBI knew it wasn't, but 51 intelligence agents said it was, and they knew it wasn't also in a Department of Justice that refuses to investigate egregious acts of voting, regularities, and fraud. And we have a man who is totally corrupt and the worst president in the history of our country, who is cognitively impaired, in no condition to leave, and is now in charge of dealing with Russia and possible nuclear war. Just think of it. We would be in World War II very quickly if we're going to be relying on this man and far more devastating than any war. There will never be a war. If that happens, there will never be a war like this. It will obliterate everything there is, everybody. It will obliterate every country. We are a nation that no longer has a free and fair press. Fake news is all you get, and they are the true enemy of the people. They refuse to discuss the Biden crime family, but enjoy covering false indictments of Donald Trump, who has done nothing wrong. We are a nation where free speech is no longer allowed, and where crime is rampant and out of control like never before. We are a nation that is allowing Iran to build a massive nuclear weapon 
and China to use the trillions and trillions of dollars it has taken from us to build a military to rival our own. And less than three years ago, we had Iran, China, Russia, North Korea in check. They weren't going to do a thing against us, and everyone knows it. Now Russia and China are holding summits to carve up the world. And perhaps most importantly, we are a nation that is no longer respected or listened to on the world stage. We are a nation that in many ways has become a joke. We are a nation that is hostile to liberty, freedom, and faith. We are a nation whose economy is collapsing into a cesspool of ruin, whose supply chain is broken, whose stores are not stocked, and whose deliveries are not coming whose educational system is ranked at the very bottom of every single list. We are a nation where large packs of sadistic criminals and thieves are allowed to go into stores and openly rob them, beat up and kill their workers and customers, and leave with armloads of goods, but with no retribution, where the authority of our great police has been taken, where their families and pensions have been threatened, and their lives would be destroyed for the mere mention of the words law enforcement. We are a nation where fentanyl and other forms of illegal drugs are easier to get than formula for our beautiful little babies. A nation whose once revered airports are a dirty, crowded mess. You sit and wait for hours and then are notified that the plane won't leave, and they have no idea when they will. Where ticket prices have tripled, they don't have the pilots to fly the plane, they don't have qualified air controllers, and they just don't know what they're doing. We're a nation that has lost its confidence, it has lost its willpower, and it has lost its strength. We are a nation that, quite frankly, has lost its way. But we are not going to allow this horror to continue. Three years ago, we were a great nation, and we will soon be a great nation again. It was God-fearing patriots like you who built this country, and it is God-fearing patriots like you who are going to save our country. 2024 is our final battle with your support in this election, we are going to finish what we started. With you at my side, we will demolish the deep state. We will drive out the globalists. We will cast out the communists. We will throw off the sick political class that hates our country. We will rout the fake news media, and we will drain the swamp once and for all. One year from now, together, we will evict crooked Joe Biden from the White House. And we will take back our country with a righteous and magnificent victory on Election Day 2024. We are one movement, one people, one family, and one glorious nation under God. And together, we will make America powerful again. We will make America wealthy again. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. Thank you very much. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you. Giving you a megaphone in Washington, D.C. Dr. Chaps will be right back. The Bible says this in James 1, that pure religion before God and the Father is to visit orphans and widows in their trouble. You know, we have been sponsoring up to 259 orphans and children in one of the poorest states in India for many years. But now, there is a famine of biblical proportions happening because of the unemployment there. 
we are sponsoring people who otherwise cannot feed themselves. We've given over $10,000 to feed up to 100,000 meals to the poorest of poor in one of the poorest states in the world. We need your support. We need your financial contributions. Can you help us? There's somebody out there watching who could give $1,000 or even $10,000 toward a matching gift for what we have already provided. Please donate today. PrayInJesusName.org is our website or you can call us at 866-Obey-God. Again, that's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please help us feed the poor today. Maybe you've enjoyed our program and you're wondering, how can we support Dr. Chaps with our tithes and offerings? We've made it so easy right now. You don't even need to go to the website. Just use your smartphone and text the word donate to 720-573-0305. You don't even have to get out of your chair. Just pick up your smartphone right now and text the word donate to 720 720- 573-0305 and you will help us bring you these programs. God bless you in Jesus' name. Today I want to invite you to sign an important petition to Congress to protect military chaplains, especially their right to pray publicly in Jesus' name. If you remember my story, you know that I was vindicated by Congress in 2006 after I took a principled stand for the right to pray in Jesus' name. But Congress never did pass a positive law to let chaplains pray according to their conscience. Would you sign that petition with me? Let's take action today. He is the intersection of church and state. Here is Dr. Chaps. So there you saw three healthy clips of the president running for re-election. Just to be clear, we are not, and I am not publicly endorsing any of these candidates. Uh, we welcome Joe Biden to come on our show and give equal time uh, through his press secretary or through Dr. Anthony Harper. Uh, if you had a couple of questions to ask um, Joe Biden, I know you're there in the White House frequently, what would you want him to respond to President Trump's speech? Well, first of all, I would ask him what, he, what, he, what his policies would be in, in order to protect human rights, uh, to defend our constitution, to protect our border and our children. This is a very key, key issue for the survival of America if we don't protect our children, if we don't respect our constitution. So and I, I've been wanting to interview uh, President Biden and all the presidential candidates, and none, none of them have been willing to join me yet at this point. Let's hope that they have courage to do so. All right. Our guest has been Dr. Anthony Harper, imcnews.org. Our website is PrayInJesusName.org. We need your donations, large or small, to be able to bring you these inform informative reports from DC. Please donate today at PrayInJesusName.org. If you need prayer, call us now at 866-ObeyGod. We'll see you next time. Dr. Chaps needs your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best financial donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray In Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now, 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.